The main feature within Choicer is the exams section. To access it, click on the exams link at the top of any page. Here you'll see a list of all previous tests that you've completed and you can view their contents by clicking on the View Selected Archive button. You can also reset tests, view any associated notes or delete tests altogether. When you choose to view an archive test, you're taken to a list of the questions from the test and any that you got wrong are highlighted in red. Also note the Answer, Edit and View Edit Notes buttons alongside. When you're ready to create a test in the exam section, click on the Create a Test button. As covered in previous tutorials, you first need to make your selection of questions from your personalised database. To aid you with this process, you can use the scroll bar, find search boxes, or the data sort on the Categories folder heading, for example for an A to Z listing or vice versa. When you're happy with your selection, set the test time in the form of an overall test time by means of the minutes and seconds fields or the seconds per question. Once you've done that, you're good to go. Just click on the start button. When the test begins, click on a radio button next to the answer of your choice and click the show next question button. However, if your answer is merely a guess, it might be useful to click on the add to skip list button so that you can review it later. If you are disturbed for any reason, you can pause the test at any time by clicking on the pause button. The test will immediately suspend with no loss of time for the test. By clicking the pause button again, the test will resume. When you make a mistake, you can click the back button and the application will step back one question at a time. However, this feature is only included in tests with an overall test time, since it would defeat the purpose of the seconds per question otherwise. Where you can make a change Click on an alternative radio button and click the show next question button and the test will continue as before. As soon as they answer the last question, Choicer will present you with a test summary page where you can click on the incorrect questions list button. This will take you to a page listing all the questions you answered incorrectly. Clicking on any of these will result in the answer field populating. Notice to the right of the screen there are six option buttons, most of which are obvious in their functionality. Create note leads to this template page. You would give the note a title and fill out the content field as you please. When done, click the save button. Clicking on the test archives button will take you to the archives section where your latest test will have been added to the top of the list. Clicking on the View Note button, you will be free to edit your note accordingly. Finally, clicking the Test Results button will take you back to the summary page that appeared immediately after the test ended.